Okay, so I had a comment on one of my videos of trying to show the angle when I sharpen um, and how I do basically, let me see here, how I get the tip to sharpen. So I'm going to try and give you a close, close up. As you can see, we got the um, stone here. So basically, all I do is I kind of rest it, kind of like that. And as I get close, I got to change the angle for the tip. So if we go opposite direction here, you kind of see where it's sitting here. And then I just pull up to get that. And no, this does not create a secondary bevel on your blade. The one thing you don't want to do is put a ton of pressure on it. I am sitting down, so it's kind of difficult. So this is how I do it. The only time I lay this perfectly flat is if I need to put a whole new um, polish job on it. That's the only time I do that. And this is a thousand grit I'm just using. Nothing, um, no high grit. So. Like I said, I don't use a belt grinder when I sharpen. For the simple fact, anything can go wrong while you're using a machine and screw up your temperament or really severely screw up your edge. And you really don't want that. But it takes time and it takes patience. Is all. And basically if you see, I can't even get my thumb in there. So I'm pretty low. And I just pull up and it does perfectly fine. And as always, I'm using the Kuramaku stone from Shampton. These are actually made in Japan. And these things, people, when you go on YouTube and you research them. Some people say they dish out. Some people say they don't. Um, I have yet to have this dish out. I do have to clean it. But I don't have issues with these. Now the softer stones do clog a little bit quicker than the more coarse stones. Oh yeah. That's got a nice edge on it. I'll just run my strop over it. 
but that's how I do it. It's just, you got to take patience getting it done. That's all. And then, um, yeah, that's about it. That's all you got to do. Just be patient. Let's um, kind of zoom out there. And I just strop this really quickly. Now, I've also had comments, why don't you use oil? Because with the Kuramaku, it is a splashing go. You cannot use oil on them. If you use oil on this, you will ruin the stone and it won't sharpen anymore. So you don't want to do that at all. That is a bad, bad thing. This is not like... I've even seen that some... Um, gosh. Diamond stones, you don't use oil on either. Um, it's a bad idea. It ruins them. Oh yeah, that's a way better edge now. Way, way, way better edge. Oh, can't catch it just right. So, yeah, it doesn't take long. At all, with one of these. I normally only spend five minutes on a blade with these stones and I'm good to go. Of course I don't make mine what like people like to say a laser beam because like I've said previously that is actually bad for your blade and there's no structure to it and the edge won't last as long especially if you're cutting hard targets it definitely will not last you very long so that's how I do it, up close and personal. And uh, I'll see you guys later.